NBA 2K25, my NBA fantasy draft. Our first season, and there's already... I'm not going to call it a surprise, but Victor Wembanyama gets drafted second. I wasn't able to record the beginning of the draft, so unfortunately I wasn't able to showcase one by one the top four picks. But let's see all the available players. I chose the Golden State Warriors for this season. I've never had them before. Why not pick the Warriors for this season? First season of every NBA 2K, I always pick a brand new team I've never taken before to have that brand new feeling. I really want to get Luka, but I have a feeling that Cleveland will take Luka. The next three possible options that I'm looking at is obviously Curry, Jokic, and Tatum. So I'm just checking out the badges, all the players. Because as you guys know, I haven't played this game too much, so I don't really know how these players play the game. I've only played a couple of games and they're all on my channel, so I've only played like three or four. I haven't seen most of these players in action on 2K25. I'm so used to 24. So there you go. He takes Luka Doncic at the very last second. And I'm just checking out <laughs> AD if they gave him boosted badges or anything, but... It's going to be a tough decision to pick between the three players. If I wasn't the Golden State Warriors, I would take Steph Curry. But I am trying to make this as fantasy as much as possible, if that makes sense. Also, I want to have a two-way player as my first pick, which is why I'm going to go with the cover boy Jason Tatum. Gave him nice stats, 87 perimeter defense, 6'8 wing player. Why not take Tatum? Versatile, all around, you can't go wrong with it. Jokic is also a good pick, but in our league experience, most people skip on Jokic for other players. So there it is, Jason Tatum at pick number 8. Steph Curry goes to the Heat. He was probably happy I took Tatum because <laughs> I'm sure he wasn't expecting to get Curry at pick number 9. Pick number 10 goes Devin Booker. Interesting pick so far. Wemby at number 2, Booker at number 10. Jokic is sliding down the draft board. The MVP is sliding down the draft board. So Kawhi Leonard goes number 11 to the Lakers, then Jokic to the Phoenix Suns. Anthony Edwards goes number 13, Evan Mobley. That's the biggest surprise. <laughs> oh my goodness, Evan Mobley at 14. Oh my goodness, he took Mobley over all the other superstars available. Who takes Evan Mobley over Jalen Brunson over Anthony Davis? Come on now. I don't know what the Grizzlies were thinking, but... <laughs> Evan Mobley over Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brown, Kyrie, Morant, Halliburton, Paul George, Lil... Oh my, Jimmy... <laughs> Who takes Mobley over these guys? I don't know what they're thinking, but... Hey... <laughs> There's always a surprise in the draft. Donovan Mitchell goes to 17. Chet Holmgren goes to 18. That's interesting. Holmgren is nice, but I wouldn't have taken him over these players that are available. I would have taken Morant or Jalen Brown or Kyrie. One of these guys. Not Chet Holmgren or Evan Mobley. Paolo Bancaro goes next. Kyrie Irving goes number 20 Jalen Brown finally leaves the board the finals MVP slid down to 21 I can't believe Jalen Brown slid down all the way to 21 Jokic to 12 finals MVP and the regular season MVP slid down 
So John Moran finally gets taken, Hal Britton and Jimmy Butler to round out round number one. Darren Fox is the last pick of round number one. We're going to do a quick little recap of the players taken. These are all the players that are available for round two. Lillard, I'm surprised he made it past round one. He's slipping down. There we go. We're going to go for round number two. I'm going to show you guys the process behind my pick. I wanted to get DeJounte Murray, but he obviously just got taken by the Pacers. Markkinen goes to the Heat. So the best available player, in my opinion, was LaMelo Ball. Everybody passed on Trey Young because he has no defense and he is short. Everybody in the league knows he is barbecue chicken. So everybody passed on Trey Young and Sabonis because of those reasons. I was picking between Jamal Murray as well. But LaMelo Ball is taller, 6'7". And I never had him before. And I feel like it's going to be so much fun to have LaMelo Ball pairing up with Jason Tatum. That's going to be our dynamic duo. It's going to be an exciting season. I'll show a brief summary of round two. Dame Lillard slid all the way down. People chose Maxi, Drew Holiday and other point guards over Lillard. So I'm surprised he slid all the way down there. And another surprise to end round two is Alex Caruso, Clay Thompson and Lou Dort and Jalen Suggs going way early. They got taken over all-stars like DeRozan, Trey Young, Sabonis. So many all-stars were available left, but I guess that's how much defense is valuable this year. I haven't played this game too much, so I'm not going to judge these picks as of now because the game is still early. I haven't played much, and we're going to see how it goes. So to round out the team, we got Tatum, Ball, Beal, Capella, Hart, Ivy, Adams, Beverly, Lovert, Wood, PJ Tucker. I feel like it's a good balance. I like this team on paper. We're going to see how it goes on the regular season. So gameplay coming soon. Make sure to hit sub, like, and comment. I'll see y'all in the next one.